Okay, hello everyone. Today we are going to be checking out the East versus West for Persona 5 Rail. We got the straight flush edition and we also have the Phantom Thieves edition. Let's begin. start with the US version first so let's see Oops. packaging is nice it's solid very clean all right so First, we get the game in a steelbook edition. So I believe this contains. Look at that art. It's nice. I believe this has a card inside. There you go. And then you got your dynamic theme. I need to claim this still. Um, you got your Joker card inside the steelbook edition. So we got that. Okay, so you get your your. It says it says soundtrack, but it's only 10, 10 themes. I doubt this is a full soundtrack. Um, I will show you what an actual what the actual P five soundtrack looks like. So, in the context, oops, sorry, sorry, mic, the mic dropped off, one second, right. so I'm trying, I'm trying to do like less cuts on these, it's easier for me to edit, so this is what the P5 soundtrack looks like. So look how many tracks there are per disc. It's about 36. So overall there's like a hundred songs on this on the original P5 soundtrack. So no, this is just a mini soundtrack. That's it. Um I hate it when they mention like soundtrack on 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 their marketing material, but it's not a full soundtrack. It's just like fucking a sound sampler at best, or a sound a sound sampler at worst, like a mini soundtrack at best. And then, all right, let's move on. Enough of my ramblings. Um, let's move on. You get your art book. It's a hardcover, so I like that touch. I like it. I like it. I'm a big fan of hardcover art books. And let's see, you get Joker's Mask. The mask, surprisingly, is actually well made. Um, so I believe, I'm not sure if this is acrylic or some sort of plastic but it's it's fairly well made it has the straps so it does have the it has a stand in here so you get your stand you get the back plate for the stand and of course you have your ribbon which you know you use to tie in here I'm not gonna assemble it but yeah the western um the western edition is pretty clean um solid amount of materials although i hate that they mark it that it contains a soundtrack which again i doubt it's the full soundtrack it's like a again 
At worst, it's a sound sampler. At best, it's a mini soundtrack. Um, and then, of course, uh, you get the mask. So the mask, again, fairly well made. It doesn't feel cheap. Um, it's pretty honest. If I, um, to be honest, um, it's pretty honest. It's pretty clean. Uh, well done. So let's hop on to the Western, or sorry, the Eastern Collector's Edition, which is the Straight Flush Edition. Okay, moving on to the Eastern version, which is the Royal Flush Edition. If you notice, I haven't opened this yet. I believe this one is already out of stock in Play Asia, and it's extremely overpriced on Amazon. So, if you guys want to see what's inside, here's your chance. If you already have it and you don't want to open it, I'm going to open mine for you. Um, I'll oof, have to keep this somewhere. Um, I hate doing this. This one you have to keep somewhere, so it does, like it's part of the material. So, again, packaging is really nice. Oh, look at that. Okay. So, Straight Flush Edition contains a soundtrack as well. You get the game, of course. It's not the Steelbook Edition. I mean, you can get the game code if you guys want. Like, oh, here's the code. <coughs> eh, well, I'll blur it out. But yeah. Um, let me see... So you get, okay, so this is the costume DLC set. Um, all right, that's about it for this layer. Ooh, you get your shirt. And you get the same art book. This one's actually wrapped. Wow. This is clean. Um, all right. So. Where do we begin? Art book's about the same, I'd say. I believe the main difference is the soundtrack and the mask. So. Uh, let's open this and see how many tracks are included in this one. You get two disc, so it's a two disc soundtrack right off the bat. You get 29 tracks overall. What is up with that? Holy shit. Get. Oh my god. Atlas. Atlas USA. Get that shit out of here. With that mini soundtrack bullshit. Oh my god. So, alright. Well, um, let's see the design on the shirt. I don't want to damage the packaging too much. Okay, I believe it only ships with an L. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this, honestly. Um, Pretty good material. Check it out. Um, again, I'm not the biggest fan, uh, just because I prefer shirts to have like kind of discreet design. 
Um, so here's how big, it's large. So let me do a cutoff here and I'll show you the sizing. Okay, here's the shirt. It's a pretty good, I like the design's okay, but again, it's part of your preference. Um, it fits pretty well, but again, this is an Asian large. Um, I'm also wearing a shirt underneath, so you should, I mean, it all comes down to, of course, the sizing, and if you like this kind of design, again, not a big fan, but that's all up to you. Okay, so, yeah, that's the, all the amount, or all the contents for, uh, the western version of, um, or sorry, the eastern version, or the Royal Flesh edition of um, Persona 5 Royale. Alright, let's uh, do a quick side-by-side -side recap of the two editions and uh, compare and contrast, shall we? Okay, so let's compare and contrast between the two. <coughs> so the west side, um, the main similarities are pretty much just the same art book. Um, of course the game but the US version has the steel book edition this one I believe it's just the regular one it has a DLC code in it the main difference I saw was of course for the Western edition which is Phantom Thieves edition you get Joker's mask and a mini soundtrack the Eastern version has an actual you can I can I can pretty much say this is a complete soundtrack just because of the amount of songs that's included in here as well as the shirt the shirt is a nice bonus but honestly if it's a persona game the main highlight is the music so giving uh, the giving the collector's edition just like a kind of paltry selection of music versus like this one is I can claim I can honestly claim that it's a complete soundtrack because it's literally 30 uh, 29 tracks in there um personally I actually like the Eastern version of the collector's edition just because of it doesn't feel like Atlas um, cheaped out when it comes to music um, of course the shirt is a nice touch but Personally, it's not my type of design, but it's still, I can use it every day. This is one, the mask also is nice, but it's literally just decoration. Um, but again, uh, that's it for the comparisons between the two. So if you have any questions about these collector's edition, just leave your comments down below. I'll answer as many as I can. And uh, yeah, till later. Bye.